Salam. Salam. I bow before you. There is no reason why you should know anything about me. Not that I think that I will benefit in any way by okay. telling you about myself only because you asked. Only do try to understand the plight of the low-born son. My father was called Mandayan. He grazed the cattle of the entire village. Pavanamma, my younger sister and I would accompany him every day. It was not an easy task to graze the cattle of the five streets of the Padayachi. Hearing his call, the women of these households would free their cattle. Untie the cattle, Samiyo. If by any chance the cattle put their mouths to the grains, the curses that the masters let out were quite unbearable. Dog! Drunkard! were the words that rose to their lips immediately. And in this manner we grew up. My sister was healthy and fair. The eyes of the whole village fell on Tangachi. They said Urakali's daughter looks like a Brahmin girl. What could I do but walk away embarrassed and humiliated? We who had no right to walk on the streets of the village with our slippers on could not afford to be assertive. I met men, for instance. Oh, uh, oh, you work in stories because I never tell people that I work in stories at all. I mean, I always sort of, um, what do you do? Well, I'm a housewife or I'm something, you know. And, but when you say, the men will always invariably tell you, it's my wife who reads the who reads stories. I don't have time to read stories. Okay, but what do you do as a lawyer? Are you not telling stories in front of the judge? What do you do as a doctor? Are you not listening to stories that people say and try to diagnose? What are you doing as a management consultant? Is it not a story that you're selling? Hello, uh, Nalini. I my name is Geeta Darbarajan. I'm with Katha. Good afternoon. If you really want to go back to the actual origin, I think we need to go back to Uti. When I was there in the Nilgiris, and uh, I was uh, I was going around, I was looking at the villages over there, work, looking at what lives. Uh, I was looking. I was not doing any work per se initially. Um, looking at the way the Todas were living, looking at the villages where, you know, they had to walk. The doctor would come to a close village, to one of the nearest villages, at a, on, say, a Thursday. And these people will start work, walking with their sick children on Wednesday. Going over there, see the doctor, come back, and the doctor would only come the next Thursday. And then I came to Delhi and uh, I said since I had done some writing for children, maybe what I would very much like to do is to do something for the children in uh, the villages that I had seen in Uti. So I sat with Guha, in fact we should have that earlier thing also with us, you know, we uh, sat with Tulsi and Guha, my children, and we made up this little magazine, so that became Tamasha, and we said spreading health awareness is what we want to be doing, and through this magazine. Then I said, you know, is there any way by which I can look at translations? Because I had been reading Tamil, you see, and um, I knew there were good stories over there. But whatever I saw in translation was not working out for me. It was not reading as well as the other, the O. Henry stories and those other stories that I had read. So I knew there was some way in which English could be used well to translate our stories. Okay. Mitra, 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 Mitra. Mitra. Huh. okay. Now, I think what we can do is, on the second day... So, the you'll find that side by side, you know, both these things were going. There was one, this major concern for the child and what was happening for children. And on the other hand, there was this major concern about story itself in the Bashas and how translation was not happening. And is it possible for some kind of translation? Could I be editing? Could I be sort of using my skills? So, on one hand, I could see that training as an editor coming into play. And on the other was my whole training as a writer for children. So it was these two things which combined to create what was Gata. Okay, then we go. 
I wanted to make a film on Katha because I had read some of their books. I had loved their stories as they had retained the flavor and fragrance of the original. While reading, I could often reach beyond the words and touch the space, the setting, the characters. And they were truly wonderful stories too. So my journey as a filmmaker began from my position as the reader. and i looked forward to the pleasures of discovering as a filmmaker those very aspects that had afforded me so much pleasure as a reader but very soon i ran into a puzzle katha was not just about books and stories they were running a school with nearly 1400 children in the govindpuri resettlement area and training teachers as well Other activities included entrepreneurship development, bringing out academic publications, conducting workshops on stories, on fiction appreciation, on translation, on theater. They were running book clubs in schools and colleges. They also regularly took a van around the streets of Delhi to teach working and migrant children. All this was utterly confusing and chaotic. Why were they doing so many things? I asked myself. A little resentfully I saw my private and pleasurable journey into books transmutating into a chaotic journey into the world of good samaritans So with a sense of resignation I began to plot a graph of all the myriad activities of Katha to get a clearer picture of their mind-boggling list of activities And then I ran into something even more puzzling Each time I would manage to fit what I thought was the final piece in the puzzle I would find that the picture had changed I would begin all over again only to find the same thing happening yet again Like a kaleidoscope the picture kept changing every single time Ha aap kahan se aa rahe hain Shankar Uske se kahan se aa rahe hain Rajasthan se aap dono Rajasthan se aa rahe hain कलेक्शन इन इंग्लिश कमिंग आउट दे वर ऑल कमिंग आउट फ्रॉम द साइट समेर इट वॉज अ काइंड ऑफ poaching on the site take it me tetri and then you go there you look at you know 10 of the volumes and then i pick up 10 stories from 10 volumes you pick up 10 other stories from 10 volumes somebody else picks up 10 other stories and everything was coming from there and uh, actually anthologies were not being put together as basic work because it was very difficult you cannot find stories So uh sitting in Delhi it seemed rather um arrogant on uh, my part to say that I know everything and I can pick up the stories from here. So it seemed like we would be able to pick up stories only if we had friends out there. People who were excited about story, people who were respected in their own languages, people who knew their own languages very well and when they recommended we could go by what they were saying. Aaj yaar aaj video mein antiksh ke bare mein padha ki matlab antiksh है क्या अंतरिक्ष okay. एक वायु रहित क्षेत्र है उसमें वायु नहीं है और और क्यों वायु नहीं है पृथ्वी जहाँ समाप्त होती है ना वहाँ अंतरिक्ष शुरू होता है इसलिए उस पर वायु नहीं है इसीलिए और और कारण है और 
you want literature in the making we want a story which you think will stand the test of time we want it to be quality we want not a story which is read but you, which you think should be read by people that's what we are looking for But when I was talking to the nominating editors, you know, uh, one or two of them visited, and I came to understand that for many of them, this was the first time that they were looking seriously at the short story. The short story was something that you read in the bus, you know, going to work or coming back from work. It was something that you stuffed into your pocket. It normally came in a little magazine, and then you threw the magazine away. So it had a very, very short life. It had that, you know, here this minute, gone the next minute kind of uh, fragility about its life. But many of them remembered short stories that had remained with them. They said, you know, yes. So we extended that period. The first thing was over three years because many of them went back and said, you know, but I remember I read the story in, say, uh, Shubha Mangla. I think I remember this in Kaniyari. I remember reading this in Desh. I remember reading this in Lankesh Patrika. So you know, these stories were coming back to them. What I had promised myself was that I would pay equitably. So I went to ITDC and went and met the chairperson over there. After a lot of talking, he said, "Okay, I'll give you one lakh." This was like one major thing in our lives, you know, one lakh of rupees coming in. So immediately, two thousand rupees per nominating editor for having done the work, and two thousand rupees per story, two thousand rupees per translation. Okay, that was decided. Now, when I Sat back and thought about it. From fifty rupees, seventy-five rupees, even the side ticket me paying hundred rupees at that point of time, two thousand rupees seemed like price money. So I said, why not call it an award? Why not award these people and therefore have the first ever award for short stories? Because in our country, we never awarded the short story. You have to be uh, dead and gone, or you should be dying to be eligible for any award. Does it know? देखिए हमारा मार्केटिंग के बारे में हम सोचना पड़ेगा क्योंकि आपका काम बढ़िया है तो है तो आप ऐसा कर दीजिए आप एक पेपर में कागज में लिखकर आपका नाम आप दे दीजिए कौन सा कौन सा ट्रेनिंग चाहिए और उसके बाद इन्होंने फर्स्ट बुक वाज कॉल्ड कथा 91 दैट्स द टाइटल दैट वी वर गिविंग and then it came to time to look at the thing he said katha 91 won't do geeta you better think of another title for it because katha 91 people will read it uh, in 91 and they won't read it in 92 so i came back again what title do you give the book then uh, i said price stories because the o henry price stories were there it was being read and we had anyway you know got money from itdc we had thanked uh, mr narayan in profusely and we said that these are the awards you can't say katha award winning stories but katha prize stories seem to make a lot of sense so they went out as katha prize stories I think when Katha started off, they actually thought of themselves in terms of the Hindi short story kind of prize people, but it's a lot more than that. What it does in India is that it actually helps to put India together. Every year, India is put together in a collection, right? What do I mean? I think India need, is it's the kind of country which needs a lot of uh, uh, continuous work. You know, uh, we need to talk to each other, in, in, to think of ourselves as belonging to each other. and uh, the translation boom of the 90s to for which katha is also in a sense a cause i think is did good for us and it should be continued because the more stories that get translated from different languages and get put together in an anthology it need not be in english it can be in hindi or whatever but the more translation that take place the more people read each other the more they talk to each other and what katha also does is we get the writers together
the jigsaw puzzle called Katha slowly began to take shape in my mind. Katha would find stories and then take these stories into society. And to go into society, they followed every possible route and created pathways when they didn't exist. And the story was their guide. has been translating herself for thousands of years. I mean, just look at the Mahabharata. And the Mahabharata goes into these many, 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 many versions. Look at the Ramayana. You have the Kamba Ramayana. You have the uh, tribal Ramayanas, the Adivasi Ramayanas. You have the Tulsi Das's Ramayana. We have always translated ourselves because we have realized that we are a land of many languages. Now, what we can do is to say that we don't want all these languages. We become a, a uni... Uh, lingual uh, language or it's remained multilingual. The choice was ours and for the last 2000 years we've taken our choice and we've translated. Okay. Even a, even a rickshawala uh, knows at least you know three four languages so that uh, and he is able to negotiate between these languages as easily as perhaps uh, uh, our old bhakti poets like Kabir or Meera or Nanak did because they too we almost unconsciously travel from one language to another. So what I mean to say is our uh, culture is essentially and basically and in a some in some sense radically multilingual my sister they bruised and limp like a torn leaf as time passed her screams sounded beyond the streets of the outcasts feeling utterly helpless i watched the sister i had raised die a tortured death before my eyes we had grazed the village cattle. When the animals refused food, Appa had sucked out the thorns from their tongues with his own mouth. Sami, is it fair for the village to graze on the very family that had grazed all its cattle? एट्टी परसेंट दुनिया अंग्रेजी की राइटिंग से बिल्कुल बाहर है हुँ? वो भारतीय भाषाओं में है मैं समझता हूं कथा अपने इन अनुवादों के जरिए एक बहुत जबरदस्त काम कर रही है एक ब्रिज बनाने का और एक उनका जो एक सेटल है एक खास तरह का बंद जो जो एक मैं कहूंगा वो इंग्लिश गैटोइज्म जो है उसमें कहीं दरार डाल रही है इसलिए मैं इसका बहुत एडमायर हूं हालांकि मेरे मतभेद भी हुए हैं अगर ये एक भाषा पर कंसेंट्रेट कर सकें तो मेरा ख्याल है कि इतना जबरदस्त ये काम एक हिस्ट्री मेकिंग हिस्टोरिकल किस्म का काम कर सकते हैं लोग जो इन्हें करना चाहिए बजाय इंस्टेड ऑफ वेस्टिंग तो नहीं कहूंगा स्पेंडिंग देयर एनर्जीज इन सो मेनी एक्टिविटीज See, why I use the metaphor of collages? Because apparently, uh, one might feel that Katha is going in 10 different directions and why should it not, you know, sort of uh, pull in all the energy into maybe one kind, not one kind, but one activity as such, and that may be public publishing. But uh, I definitely feel that, you know, with all the activities that, um, uh, you know, are th that are going on, there is a certain kind of an inherent link, you know, which, which in a collage you do have. There is harmony of a certain kind. The surface may look like a discordant surface. There is something happening in education, something happening in, uh, at, at the school level in education, something it's the higher education level, it's the story, it's the aesthetics of the story, it's criticism, it's translation, it's um, so many things, you know. So uh, theatre would come in, you know, at some points, workshops which would bring in theatre. But ultimately it's all got to do with the story, alright? 
Memories from childhood help Aziz to understand the world. Of course, that must be the case with everyone, except Adam, as the first man on earth, he had no childhood. Aziz easily took to anything that reminded him of his childhood. That is why he liked Bombay. If you flattened out Mata Cherry, you would get Bombay. Kahi building, kahi tram mein, kahi motor, kahi mil. Milta hai yahan sab kuch, ik milta nahi dil. Insaan ka nahi, kahi naam o nishan. Zara hat ke, zara bach ke, yeh hai Bombay meri jaan. and i can see the story building bridges i can see somewhere it acting at subliminal levels working in the underground uh, uh, terrains to link up and to culture link and to make us feel that finally why a country like ours is uh, heterogeneous and what is the strength of heterogeneity and why we need to believe in heterogeneity for our very survival without that we cannot manage and the story gives us the meaning for the word heterogeneity as always on that day too the freshly washed taxis of early morning filled the zees with delight unlike in other cities the taxis of bombay were not heavy ambassadors they were fierce quite like tabby cats waiting to be stroked and caressed as the taxi journeyed on stopping at one red light after another aziz contemplated bombay resting indolently after the election mr aziz you must send us a photocopy of your ration card at once but i don't have one then get it at once so we have what we call a story pathway with which we are working with the story in the classroom so whether you're going into the corporate uh, classroom or you're going into the uh, slum and you're working in govindpuri in the classroom basically what we're saying is that the story pathway is different from the normal pathway the science pathway or the social sciences path the science social pathways are there but when you take the story path then it becomes more exciting <laughs> Mr. Aziz? Yes. Father's name? Biran Kunju. Mother's? Fatima. Do you own any landed property? No. Then you must be having old tax receipts for the land. No. So you have no proof of owning any property in India? My ration card. <laughs> These investigations are for that. First, you have to prove that you're an Indian. Only then can we consider the issue of a ration card. This is a nice scheme. Suppose you were woken up from sleep one night and asked to prove that you're an Indian. What would you do, sister? I would just tell them my name. That's all. My name is both my history and my geography. Pramila Gokhale, Maharashtrian, Hindu, Chitpavan Brahmin. Do you understand? What should I do? <laughs> you can leave now. You will be called again. Then you'll have to come, brother. <laughs> the story really is if you think of it as a story, the story is a narrativization of truth. rather than a construct of lies which is how you normally think of fiction and story because come on you know you do documentary stories people do journalism and they do stories these are narrativizations of truths and that is what the story has always been in india katha right has been the narrativization of truth it's been ways of telling people it's not you know uh, so much as folk wisdom as wisdom for the folk giving people patterns of life patterns of behavior negotiations with reality Were you in India in 1970? Madam, I was not born then. In 71? I was born that year. So you admit that you were not in India in 70? This is really absurd. Madam, I was not born then. 
Shall I record that you were not in India before the infiltration from Bangladesh started? How many times am I supposed to tell you that I was not born then? Answer the questions with a yes or a no. Tell me, before the infiltration from Bangladesh, that is in 70, and prior to that, were you in India? No. During the period of the infiltration and after that? Yes. My ration card? I have completed my report. I will send it tomorrow itself. Are you suggesting that I am an infiltrator? Didn't you just admit that yourself? Even if, as um, some of these um, people who know are saying that about 95% of the 6,000 languages in the world today will die in the next 50 years. 95% they say will be out, extinct. I think what I am expressing maybe is certain things that as a country we need to be looking at. Certain things as people of a country we need to be looking at as a country which is has as heterogeneous as India, as multilingual as India, as proud of its 400 languages that are still spoken, still joked in, still uh, traded in, those languages. I think we cannot let somebody from outside come and tell us that 95% is going to die. I mean, how can we allow anybody else take a decision like that, such a major decision for us? I think at some point we are all going to sit up and we are going to fight it. And at that point of time, Katha, I think, will be with those people, those literary satyagrahis fighting for our languages. I was nearly through with the film when I realized what was wrong with my jigsaw puzzle and why my picture kept constantly changing. I had assumed that this was a puzzle like any other and that I had to only fit the right pieces into the right places to see the whole picture. But the Katha puzzle has yet another dimension I hadn't reckoned with, the third dimension, and I had very nearly missed it. But I couldn't possibly have plotted the third dimension with my two-dimensional tools. I had begun my journey with books and come to the story. Maybe the right path to take would have been to begin with the story and chart the exciting journey that Katha has mapped. A journey packed with surprises and revelations. An amazing journey bursting with fresh ideas and concepts, which were at times confusing and frustrating too. And everything finally connecting together to the story. But then, that would be the story of an altogether different film.